It's a tragic stat that we sadly must report the tally of people killed in Charlotte. We left 2020 with 123 homicides, an all time record for the Queen City. It's taken time, but the city is set to try a new approach, hoping to turn things around. WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs has the details on what's working and what's not. It's a new year marking a new and clean slate for a city that saw a historic number of homicides in 2020. And yet again, advocates and city leaders are hopeful that things will be different this year as they try a new approach. I think that this will work to some extent. 2021 could finally bring a violence interrupters pilot program to one of Charlotte's hotspots for violent crime. We've got to move past the, the, the practices that we've had before. Robert Dawkins with Action NC pushed for the program since 2017. It would hire known and trusted community members in the Beatty's Ford Road Corridor near LaSalle who work to defuse situations before a trigger is pulled. Looking for signs, hearing people say, I got an issue and I'm going to resort to violence. The blue lights and body bags are often brought out by small conflicts that escalate to violence. It's really senseless. The impact of a homicide can't be measured in a number. I mean, these are loved ones that are lost to people. Dawkins says current victim support programs and conflict resolutions are great, but they aren't working. What's been lacking both on the advocacy side and on the city side is an actual proven methodology. It's why he believes the new program, which can be tracked for success through data, is a good start. Violence interruption is one piece, but a total commitment to violence intervention as opposed to just violence prevention is going to be what it's going to take. Charlotte City Council has been seriously talking about this program for at least a year now, drawing criticism for some, saying they're being too slow with their approach. This program is hoping to start before this summer, but the city says it has to find a local organization to run it. In Uptown, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte.